tight. <laughs> I always get caught grabbing my coffee. <laughs> well, actually grabbing my drink. Usually it's water. <laughs> I'm stretching over to grab the, ta -da! <laughs> the coaster. <laughs> <Woo. sighs> I'm running late, guys. Oops, am I a tad late? Let's have a look, see. Oh, <laughs> try 10 minutes late. Oh, what? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay. Woohoo. Ta da! <laughs> well, cheers, guys. Cheers. I missed my coffee. Oh, it's been a very long morning. Mm. What? We're here. Good morning and welcome everyone. I'm still half getting ready here. Good morning, Allegra. Good morning, Kaz. How are you? I've been seeing all your messages on YouTube. I will respond, I promise, Kaz. It's just been, what? So busy. Hello, Suzanne from God Crochet and Chatter. Welcome, welcome. I, as you can see, I'm still like, I just got out of the shower. I've just made such a mess today. I am so rushed. What? <laughs> I know it's oh, I'm just deflated <laughs> deflated from what Ta -da! our finished hexi blanket I know it needs a good washing and blocking just to straighten that out but check out that border what it's done I know right gorgeous <laughs> oh, God. I really can't Stay. Oh, that's okay, Margaret. But have a good morning. Oh, thank you, dear. Oh, oh, everyone's talking all at once. I got a air pump. I don't know what that means. Um, the blanket looks fab. I know, Kaz, but you know what? If you are new to crochet, this is a trying blanket. <laughs> Just heads up. <laughs> Just a little heads up. This is a very trying blanket. The actual border itself was not that difficult. And I actually changed it the last minute, which is the reason why it took two days to upload because my count was out. <laughs> and I tried over and over and over again. The count did not add up. And it took me a while to realise, wait a minute, I know why the count was out. Because to stop the wave from happening, we crocheted two together. Hello, Leslie. How are you? <laughs> we crocheted two together in certain areas of our blanket because it was kind of waving and I couldn't. I didn't really want the wave look. I wanted the flat look, which is what I have. So I thought, how was I supposed to do this without having the count out? Because the count will be different in between. It has been trying for sure, <laughs> but I enjoyed it um, because it was a challenge. It was a challenge and it was a bit of a challenge for me. I hadn't realized it was going to wave. Um, so when I double crochet two together, it put all my count out. And I thought, oh, what am I going to do? How am I going to fix this? Um, good morning, plant mix. I hope you are well. Love the border to the blanket. I know. Oddly enough, the border was easier than the um, blanket itself. <laughs> so it, it was easier than the pattern itself. So um, with the border, all I ended up doing was to make life easier for you. I just asked you to get center, pop in stitch markers, get the center, pop in a stitch marker and so on all the way around. And don't worry about the counts in between because they won't add up. <laughs> and the reason is because we double crocheted two together in certain areas of the blanket to stop the wave effect. You live and learn, guys. <laughs> when I was, you know, when I was uh, double crocheting the two together, I'd forgotten all about the border that I had actually chosen for the blanket. And I thought, oh, I'm going to have to redesign a border. The actual initial border, so that we're here and you get what I mean, the initial border does not look like this. You only had one large, oh, that's the small one. You only had one large peacoat edge. Then you had five chains, single crochet, five chains, single crochet, five chains, single crochet. And in the middle, you had a tiny peacoat with this really two big picots like that and a tiny little one in the middle. But in between, the five chains did not add up. I had five chains, one area, three the next, two on the other one, five on the next. I thought, how am I supposed to tell everybody, don't forget to chain five between because it's not five when it's all different. So I, um, that was the first row. The second row, 
was different again the second row was the same where you're doing your five chains across with a single crochet and in here you had um what do you call them uh double crochet three together inside each one of those gaps comes out gorgeously and i wanted to do the same for this pattern but it didn't look right but i will keep that in mind for future patterns um that i don't mess the count up on <laughs> so um so actually in the middle you had like two rows of a lace effect which i wanted that lace effect in the middle and the lace effect there but um you know these things happen and there you go <laughs> oh what do you do what do you do but the blanket is done i am very very happy excited i'm sure you're excited too guys because that means <laughs> we are gonna do new projects did i scream i tried to back off a little bit when i did that <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> but there you go new projects and as you know keeping it real there's a new name i've not seen hello welcome Welcome, we are crochet artists, if you will, or crochet addicts, one or the other. We could be both. <laughs> and Suzanne, I did get that last message about the depleted, the deflated, whatever it was called. Air pump. <laughs> I did get that, Suzanne, thank you. <laughs> um, so there you go, guys. Our border row is complete. I am going to be washing and blocking this blanket. I am new to your channel. I've noticed. Well, thank you for joining us, Keeping It Real. We are a crochet channel. Uh, if you're not sure, but we do everything crochet related, we're definitely both, Mary. I think we are. Um, so we are everything crochet related. So um, yours truly is a tad crochet crazy. Just subbed a couple of days ago. Well, thank you so much. I must have missed it. You could get quite a few subs in an actual fact guess what guys from the last time i checked i am a crochet addict well join our club keeping it real because we are crochet crazy here and i push a lot of work out here and i really push my crocheters out there i do apologize <laughs> but i am taking a step back this week and next week and the week after just to produce some smaller projects so that we can um, finish things a lot quicker. We've been doing blankets and blankets and blankets. Time to take a step back. We'll still do this blanket here, guys. We're still going to do this one. It's coming. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but smaller projects, probably to keep ourselves busy, something to finish quick uh, so that we can actually um, finish something quickly. You know, occasionally we just want to do small projects. And in actual fact, I do small projects to um refresh myself when i've done big jobs now we finished that blanket this month we finished this blanket this month uh we are halfway through another blanket so we are really really inundated with blankets if you um are new to the channel and you want to see some blankets just check out in the description box down below uh give me about an hour or so a couple hours actually this doesn't really show for 10 hours afterwards I don't know why, but it doesn't. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> what we could do is pop it in the very last tutorial that we did. Uh, small projects make me feel motivated. I know. And because we have been doing so much over the past few months of very large projects, time to pull ourselves back. I did talk about it on Wednesday's live that I'll be doing a couple of smaller items this week and I'll advertise those um, to you in a moment. You would have seen in the photo, <laughs> the very first photo, that I was holding a teacup. I'm not a teacup, try a teapot. <laughs> Get it right, Mary. <laughs> Just not even looking at my own photos. <laughs> uh, and one of those items we will be doing, yes, a teapot or tea cosy, if you will. And a couple of other things which I've got over here, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. I know we have a few, um, a few little things that we are going to do over the next few weeks. I do have a lot happening over the next few weeks. I promised myself I'd get the website up and running. And that's what I'm going to do. So in the meantime, I'm going to focus on smaller projects and this blanket. Uh, and then give me about a week and a half, maybe two weeks before I start doing the vests. I know I promised them a little earlier, but I just want to pull back a little bit and just wait for a few more weeks. Give myself a break. <laughs> and I do have some important things that I need to do over the next three weeks. So I'm going to be extremely busy. So smaller projects are the go, I think. In the meantime, enjoy your blanket. Don't forget, wash and block it. I know it's already been washed and blocked. Wash and block it again. You need to pin that down on the points to keep it straight. 
once you do, don't pull at it, just keep it nice and like give it a bit of attention there and then just pin it down at the point, pin a few pins there, pin a few pins there, pin in the round in there and go all the way around, do it again. I know you're thinking, what? We just did it. I know, I'm not doing a blocking tutorial for it unless you want one and popular demand I might. Um, otherwise, I'll wait a week before I wash and block it and I'll probably sell it. <laughs> I don't know yet. I haven't thought about it. I have to think about it. I said I'd sell this one, but I haven't washed and blocked it yet properly. I washed and blocked it before I put the border on. Good morning, Ghost Hacker. Good morning, Angela Go from Ghost Hacker. Hope you're well. I've seen your messages too, and I will respond. It's really hard to respond to everyone. I'm getting there, guys. I'm getting there. <laughs> Angela leaves messages for me on Facebook, which is great. Um, she also leaves messages here, and she's just wonderful and I, I will get to those messages, I promise, Angela. Um, so there you go. That's our blanket. Very, very excited, guys. Very excited. Where did I get it from? Oh, right behind. <laughs> Excuse me a moment. And there you go. All right. Oh, that's cute. We've got people talking to each other on the community. I love it. I love our community. We have a lot of fun, guys. On well crochet we have a lot of fun on the, we have a lot of fun on our lives probably too much fun <laughs> and you know we have to you have to smile we have to laugh um, Mary please can you close your curtain a bit the glare um, that's why I'm moving over a bit I'm just gonna leave it opened because then I'd have to run over there and do it and I just don't want to walk away from the camera so next time oh, I could move the camera a little bit I could you know we could do that How's that? Oh no, that makes it worse. Let's just leave it there and I'll sit in front of it. How's that? <laughs> Don't worry, in a couple of weeks' time, that's all going to change, guys. I've got new, a new system happening. Uh, you just woke up. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> um, Jeannie, hello, Jeannie. Hope you are well. Yeah, I'll just sit back a bit. Oh, not too much. I'm trying to block out that glare. Sorry, guys. Unless you want to hold on a moment and I'll close it. I'll just leave it. I hope you don't mind. I'll just do that and give you a hard time. How's that? <laughs> I'm so naughty. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Coffee. It's my second coffee this morning. Shh, da, 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 da. It's better if I put my big head in the way. Is that what you're saying, Margaret? <laughs> Maybe I should stand up and do the live. <laughs> and then my body would just block out the whole load. <laughs> Sensible. Oh. And we need to talk about a couple of other things. I'm trying to keep my back straight. Wait here. I'm going to go close it. Wait there. Don't, don't move. If I can remember where the thing is. Hi. <laughs> All right, here we go. My oh, something is stuck there. I hope it's okay. Coming. <laughs> Ta-da. <laughs> Look at that. Something is stuck behind it. <laughs> it's the invisible man. Ooh. <laughs> it is 8.30 in the US. 8.30 in the morning? I'm assuming or night. Much better. I'm glad. <laughs> well, it's all going to change in a couple of weeks. Got some exciting things happening. I'll still be doing my tutorials here and my lives and everything here, but going to be rearranging, going to be adding. Sorry, guys, the hair is still wet. Look at it. It's still wet. <laughs> Half wet. Now, what are we doing? Let's just finish off what we are doing this week. Now, yours truly has not had a chance to continue the star blanket. No, it's night time there. Okay. All right. Oh, I hope you are safe there, by the way, keeping it real. We've been seeing lots of stuff in the news. I hope you're safe. I hope everyone is safe over there. Keeping safe and staying indoors if you can. If you can't, well, fingers crossed to stay away from drama. Okay, and that is our current blanket. Yours truly hasn't done any of it this week. I tell a lie. Monday and Tuesday I did, but you saw that on Wednesday's live, which was, I got up to there one and a half rows. So uh, the next time you see me, which will be Wednesday's live. Oh, I wasn't going to do Wednesday's live. Look. I'm happy to do Wednesday's live. Thank you. We, we live in the middle of nowhere. We are safe. I love the middle of nowhere. I want to be in the middle of nowhere where there's no noise and no stress. I want to be there. 
<laughs> I'm so happy for you. <laughs> I truly am. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Sensible. Now, I said there wasn't... Oh, I haven't put a photo up of the star blanket. I thought I might finish it first. It's taking a while, crochet. Well, I know, right? Each round takes so long now. Don't forget to use your counts. Make sure you're counting because you want to keep those sides um, straight. Thank you, Angela, for that comment. It's coming up all right. It does wobble a little bit. You're a bit behind. Don't stress plant mix. There is no rush. We are not going anywhere. YouTube is not going anywhere. Oh, well, I think it's not going anywhere. <laughs> but we're not going anywhere. And as I was saying, I was going to not do the live on Wednesday. But I can do it if it's a little bit later, like 45 minutes. Well done, plant mix. Um, if it's like 45 minutes later, I can actually do the live. I can't do it at 4 o'clock because I have to be somewhere. Or, and I can't make it back to about 4, uh, 4.45. Depending on traffic, of course. Traffic in this area is just like, what? It's like the city. And we're living in a... You know, a small area, but it's like the city, I tell you. One road, just to get over one road, you've got trains and lights, two different areas. Oh, and lights at the train. You've got your, your lights at the main road, lights at the train. To get over it takes me, because you could walk quicker, right? It takes me 20, 20 minutes to get over that, that main road. And there's no other way. I can go another way, but that's around. That's another 20 minutes. So really 20 minutes either way. Do it later. We love your lives. <laughs> Listen, I can come back and do a, a 4.45 live on Wednesday. I can do that or a 4.30. I always look forward to them. I try not to, I'd rather not do the Wednesdays. I'm just thinking I could use the Wednesdays as an opportunity to upload another tutorial. Um, but, um, you know, popular demand, I might come in at quarter to five in the afternoon by popular demand. When I say popular demand, I kind of mean if I have to. <laughs> well, I'll be working, all, put it this way, I'll be working out of the house all day from 8 o'clock to about 4.30. Um, and then I have to come home and do a live and try and be smiley and happy after dealing with certain situations. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about that extra job. That's a job I don't usually do. <laughs> I'd rather not discuss it. <laughs> you have to do what you have to do, though, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't do it. I never do that job. I only do it once every, you know, six years or something, two years. Getting back to the blanket, I got sidetracked again. It is coming, guys. It's coming along. We still have... I put the paperwork somewhere. Here it is. No, where do I do the paperwork? It's in the tub where it belongs. Hello. As you can see, I pop my gear in the tub. Uh, too much stress, Mary. We can miss one week, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you. Um, Kiki, hello. Made it. Better luck. Oh, don't worry, but I was late, honey. I got on at uh, 10, 11 or 10, 15 or something. So I was running late myself. So don't stress too much. We haven't talked much. We just discussed it. At, um, mm -hmm. See the blanket here? We finished a hexagon blanket this week. Yesterday, actually. I only uploaded it. And I had issues with the border, which is why it took me longer. But this is this blanket, the star one. Okay. So when we get to our second last row of this blanket, which is the, oh, I should look at it, shouldn't I? Uh, which will be the last two rows of grey. So when we get to our second last row, if you want to see this properly, I believe it's in the very last tutorial we did for this blanket. Uh, part two. Part two. And it gives you all the details of how many rows to do. So when we finish the last two rows, I will come back. We will discuss the sizes. If you're not happy... We can actually, I can show you guys how to go further into um, your colours. If you still have colours left, you just have to be weary because I calculated that we would only have about 600 grams for the blanket. So if you find that that blanket is not big enough, you may have to dig into your stash. But we'll see. We should make it. Definitely buy 600 grams of yarn. Uh, let me know if you don't and I can tell you what colours you can add to it to give it a highlight colour. Um, the lovely Robin from Unwind Craft Cafe taught me that some of the colours are great and then occasionally that might be a perfect can for the new grandbaby. Well, keeping it real, this is the most basic um, star blanket you can make. 
when I say the most basic, to be honest with you, I prefer to do the nine point star. It doesn't wobble as much. These five point stars tend to wobble a little bit. So you've really got to wash and block the whole thing and really tug at it. Uh, up to me, if it was up to me, I would go ahead and do the nine point blanket. Um, expensive wool came in yesterday. I saw that ghost hacker. I will respond to that. And that expensive wool that you got in is that, can you check the label for me and find out whether that's cotton or wool because the one we are working on is a cotton it doesn't matter if you want to do your um what's it called <laughs> i hate blocking i know i know um if you use a smaller hook it works better it closes up a little better i hope that helps i do mention it in the tutorial uh in part right in the middle of part one of the tutorial so before you start, have a look at part one of the tutorial. Um, hi, Daniel. Hope you're well. I'm glad you made it. Good to see you. Um, have a look at part one of the tutor tutorial. It'll tell you that I changed a hook size. I did do the pink in a five millimeter hook. Okay. And it bubbled so much that I thought, what is going on? So I tried it with a 4.5. It bubbled less. And then was also my tension, because I got really tight tension, you know, really squeeze everything in one, um, which is not good for my hand. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's part of it all, isn't it? So just maybe watch that first tutorial, skip through, skim through it a little bit. I don't know exactly where I mentioned. Think about your hook size. I think it's in the middle somewhere. It doesn't matter. I've just explained it anyway. Um, if the yarn calls for a four millimeter hook, use the four millimeter hook. This called for a four millimeter hook. I went right up to a five because I wanted my blanket to be loose, but I found it waved and it really looked um, unusual. Oh, everybody's talking at once. How was your walk last? Oh, like everybody's talking about Daniel's walk, yes. <laughs> Did everyone go for the walk on Wednesday? <laughs> Daniel's talking about his walk. Um, well, yeah, check it out, keeping it real. See how you go. Okay, that's that. This blanket, all right? So probably looking at about a couple of weeks. I know we're all newbies to this anyway, this particular blanket. So um, it will take you a while to get through each row. So I'm not in a hurry to finish this blanket, guys. So don't stress. The video for the final one will not come this week at all. Not at all. And you know, see how we go? It might not even come next week. We'll see anyway. All right, that's that. And I wanted to talk about a couple of other things some very exciting things which I started talking about before but I right over my head just changed the subject because of that window we are this close and I mean this close to the 6,000 subscriber mark this morning when I looked at my subscribers we were 5,988 subscribers what <laughs> so once we reach that 6,000 subscriber mark I will come to you with a normal video kind of like a vlog um uh he went for a walk. It would be better with a four millimeter hook. Yes. And I did that. I brought my hook size down. Yeah. Yeah. So the um, exciting news is I will be doing a video. The minute I hit the 6,000 subscriber mark, I might wait for a couple of, you know, like 10 more or 50 more, something like that. Because, you know, you got to make sure you have the 6,000 subscriber mark. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be there. You can't be telling fibs. So, <laughs> um, once I do that, I will actually pop up a video. It will be like a, one of my old vlogs. And it will be um, details of the giveaway. Okay. Then on one of the Sundays, the very next Sunday after that vlog goes up, I will pop the giveaway video, which is specifically for the giveaway where you need to answer the question on the video. And I make the questions real basic. There's, no, there's nothing technical about them. Um, and usually they're, you know, what colour do you like? What's your favourite crochet hook? They're, you know, very basic questions. So don't stress. It won't be anything technical. Um, I'm just very excited now. I start to shake when I get excited. It's one of those things. And I do that all the time. Good to hear how you are, honey. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're talking to each other. <laughs> oh, no, no one's interested in me. And it says here, and very for you, Mary... Thank you, have, oh, oh, I didn't catch that. Happy, oh, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. I'm, I'm close to it. I'm not really pushing it yet. I'm, I was going to show you some of the items that I did buy this week while I was out, as you do. <laughs> but in that vlog where I talk about 
the prizes. I literally do a slow video on each pack. So there'll be a third prize, a second and a first. Two sets of them because I've still got to do the 5,000 subscriber giveaway and I've got to do the 6,000 subscriber giveaway. Now, I'm happy to ship anywhere around the world if Australia Post lets me. <laughs> I think with our restrictions are down, so shipping is not an issue at the moment. Yay! I'm very excited. So shipping out of Australia is not an issue. So I'll be doing so much shipping on Monday. Uh, sorry, rushed typing using my phone. No, all good, Daniel, no stress. Um, <laughs> good morning, Sticky Stitch. Hello, I didn't catch that. Uh, congratulations. I haven't hit it yet, guys, I don't think. I haven't even checked. Um, but uh, everyone breaking lockdown. I know, right? They break them all the time, but I'm, I'm a nerd. I don't break those rules. Uh, we level, you're level three still. Okay, well, we, we, our level has dropped a little bit. Um, I, uh, some of the shops opened, yay. <laughs> and my favourite nail shop opened and I had a chance to do my nails. I'm very excited. You may have noticed over the past few months that my nails have been sort of, um, you know, second rate. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anyone. Because someone else did them that wasn't professional. And I'm not pointing at anyone in particular. <laughs> so, but look at them now. <laughs> when you go to the professionals, they know what they're doing. They do that for a living. It's their life, you know. Like crochet is my life, you know. <laughs> anyway, scratch that. Get back to the giveaway. <laughs> I know, right, Kaz? yoo -hoo! Some weirdo did them. Wasn't me. <laughs> so, I <laughs> thought... <laughs> okay, oh, let, let's get serious. Let's get back to business. Now, I, I really can't keep a straight face when you guys come in. And to be honest with you, I was having such a bad morning. Uh, they look very nice. They look nice because professionals did them. <laughs> you know when I say what they looked like a couple of weeks ago? I had, the first time I did them, I had nail polish right down on the skin. <laughs> I had them deep into the sides. I was there with the... Oh, what was I using? Um, cotton bud. <laughs> you should have seen the freeway to the peninsula last night. Um, oh, I missed that. I missed that. I missed it. I missed it. Um, it'd be a, oh, <laughs> weekend. So I'm staying home. I know. I know. It's probably wise to stay home. I do have to go and get some food later. Maybe we can scavenge around and see what's in the freezer. <laughs> I don't want to go out to the shops. I don't have any patience. I literally don't have patience in the shops. It's because people are so grumpy. And there's, there's the rules about, you still have to follow the rules about standing a certain few metres apart. And people are grumpy. Don't fight for a car park. Hey. Hi, creative. Oh, I know who you are, darling. How are you? I hope you are well. I hope you are well where you are at the moment. I hear it's, you know, running crazy there. Um... Hey everyone, I live 500 metres to the beach. Oh, I could do with the beach right now. It's pretty cold. It's cold for the beach. Um, yeah, it's pretty cold. Shall we get on to business? I'm sorry, I got sidetracked. So, um, so I was having a bit of a grumpy morning, so thank you for helping me out here. There's zero social distancing here in Brisbane. Really? Oh, I'd say I'm moving to Brisbane, but I'd stay with my family. <laughs> I'm doing great here, thanks. Oh, I'm glad you are. I'm glad you are, Dana, because well, I was a bit worried. I'm a bit worried about a lot of people, and I've got really cold coffee here, guys. I hope you don't mind if I drink. It's my second coffee, and I need it. <laughs> don't tell a doctor. Mm. All right. Now, business. Let's get on to business. Now, the giveaway. I'm, I'm, I'm focusing because I've only got a quarter of the items I need for the giveaway. No, no vodka in my in my coffee. <laughs> Kiki, no vodka in the coffee. <laughs> um, excuse me, we're gonna get on with the business here. Um, so I'm a quarter of the way through the items I need for the giveaway. So I'm going to have to move my uh, feet. That's what I'll say. <laughs> I was going to say something else, but we'll just say feet to go out and get some more items. Now, a few weeks ago, I bought some glitter to add to our little yarn stash. I bought some, whatever this is, what are they? Um, like a confetti kind of things to add. This week, however, 
Oh, I also, also bought a few other little things last week. A couple of notepads. Uh, no Franca today. <laughs> no vodka. No. <laughs> no vodka. Today. It's only it's only the morning time here, guys. Give me a break. <laughs> now, I have a few other little things that were in my stash. I like to do that one because that's open. We don't want something that's open and damaged. So we've still got booklets. Cousin lives in Australia and his business is taking such a hard hit from social distancing. Well, I have to say, in reference to business, um, through the pandemic, I lost 30% uh, of the fact that I wasn't making much to begin with didn't help. <laughs> but I lost 30% of not making much to begin with. So um, living on the edge, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Can't do much about that, can we? That's life. <laughs> I really wasn't making much to begin with anyway. More booklets, little notepads. Okay. Uh, these things I advertised a while back. Oh, I've only got one. Where's the other one? Oh, I've lost the other one. Oh, well, I'll show you one. I know I have two. Oh, oh well, I'll show you one. Yeah, that's life. You know, the... And we're not the only one. I had three friends of mine who actually lost their jobs. So one, she got hers back, which was good. The other two haven't. So really, there's not much we can do about it. We just have to take everything with a grain of salt and hope for the best, truly, and hope for the best. Now, so you may notice uh, I've had to get some of my yarn from my stash to help out with the giveaway this time because uh, financially going out and spending more money was, you know, not possible but I have a lot of yarn and as you know I buy good stuff um I do have some acrylic as well oh yes Kerry it is absolutely true there are some friends of mine who still welcome by the way Kerry <laughs> uh, who still have not got jobs and it's really really sad but you know that's life and we just have to take everything with a grain of salt and fingers crossed that life starts to get better hopefully um he runs a dance studio not a great business to begin to be in. Well, same with me. My business is not good either. And dance, by the way, I'm an ex-ballroom dancer and I used to do lessons at uh, Rio Dance Studios here in Melbourne. You may have known them. That was like 100 years ago. <laughs> they used to run that oh, the dance show on the ABC, Rio Dance Studios, they were called, in Melbourne. Um, that was, oh, how old am I? Oh, my gosh. It was almost 30. It was 28 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> that's very I'm, hang on a minute no I was no it's not that long <laughs> please don't make me older than I am 26 years ago 25 years ago uh, we need to each other up yeah I know I know we can't do much um, but anyway can I get on with the giveaway <laughs> details uh, I just hope another wave doesn't happen well apparently they say the second wave has to hit so fingers crossed that doesn't but, you know, you can't help the inevitable. You can't stop the inevitable. Uh, and we just, again, we need to take it with a grain of salt. We won't get out of this for a long time. I reckon you're looking at about a year to 18 months altogether. Um, I'd like to say, well, you know, everything's going to get better tomorrow. But, you know, we have to think logically. It's going to take a long time for everyone to catch up. Uh, personally, it's been a big dip into me, you know, financially and, you know, mentally. <laughs> physically. Well, yeah, physically, because all I've done is stay at home and eat. Yes, you do. Guys, can we get on with the giveaways? This guy here I advertised a while back. It is a shawl pin. Um, I have another one, but it's, it's went missing. Yeah, it takes, takes time. It does. It's missing. So this is one of them. Um, there will be little bags, little bag packs. I get them from uh, Spotlight. Yeah, I know, Kerry. Um, uh, some crochet hooks, different sizes. Some basic crochet hooks, but that's a size 12 millimeter. And keep your eyes peeled for the 12 millimeter because we'll be using it on YouTube in a couple of weeks. What? <laughs> yeah, we will. <laughs> uh, another bag. I've got red ones, blue ones. Oh, that was red, by the way. Blue ones. <laughs> Get your colors right, Mary. Oh, there it is. There's the other short pin. Now, this one. Umina Beach. Here's Umina, Umina Beach. They're cute. I know, right? Um, I just show you this one here. Okay, this one here I bought from. Let's see if I can get the lighting out of the way. 
farmer's market, right? And it is uh, made of myrtle from Tasmania. So it's actually a very good um, shore pin, one of your, your best ones. And this guy here, I don't remember where I got him, but um, it looks like a nice solid wood um, shore pin. And I use, um, love shore pins. Yeah, I use a lot of shawls in cotton. Um, I haven't this year or last year, to be honest with you, because they're all bagged. <laughs> and I need to get them out of bags and start using them. And, you know, I live in a small place, so a lot of clothes don't fit in our little tiny cupboard. So I uh, bag them and reuse them when I get a chance. Uh, another scare, but he okay. Oh, Bron Boris Johnson's got another scare. Oh, gosh. Uh, summer colds, hay fever. Okay, yeah, it's probably that. I personally, all the way through winter, and I'm not just talking for one week. You might notice in some of my videos, I have the... Humbug, I call it where you go. <clears throat> and I do that, and it happens from June the 1st all the way into halfway into September. Now, um, my lives, you'll, you'll hear that humbug occasionally. And fingers crossed, I don't have it today. But it does happen, and I get it a lot, and people think, oh, she's sick, she's sick. But no, there's no sick. I'm just naturally like that. Always have been since I was young could be sinus, could be hay fever, could be anything really. Um, doctors don't rule out anything. They, If they did tests, it would take, you know, ages to do and I just don't bother getting them done. It's been like that for years. Sometimes I just um, grab a little cough tablet and it disappears for a while. I shouldn't, but I do. So there you go. So I do buy the best shawl pins. I don't buy your cheaper nasty stuff. Just heads up on the shawl pins, yeah. But I do have cheaper buttons. But occasionally I pop in, have a look at these guys. I'm sorry, the lighting is not doing it justice. That's all going to change in a couple of weeks. Oh, what? You're getting very excited. I am. Um, and there is your coloured buttons. I love these guys. I bought some for me, so I bought some for everybody else. We may use them in a tutorial. We might. We might not. There's some more doggy buttons. The other ones were bones. This one's uh, actually doggy buttons. Um, I always pop in one of these guys or occasionally or something similar. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. He's not a good one to show. You can't see his face. There you go. You can see his face. Ta-da! <laughs> yeah. I may pop in some sweets this time. Why not? Why not? And, of course, you will get yarn. You will get plenty of yarn. And I will do a proper vlog showing you each prize slowly because someone did mention to me when i used to do it i used to go like this because i was always very nervous when i first started i go here we go there's one thing and here we go there's another and here we go and, and then people would say what was it <laughs> so i will do a proper vlog and it'll actually show you the video just slowly over each item and you can have a look see um some of the labels will be as long as no vegemite hair i love vegemite the, the thing is people don't understand how vegemite works Vegemite works. If you pack it on in big lumps, it's terrible. You need to put it lightly. First, you've got to put margarine. Let me let me teach you how to use Vegemite. Right? <laughs> you've got to spread the margarine right to the edge of the bread. Don't miss any spots. Then you get the Vegemite. You put very little on and you, and you spread it nicely. Very little. Pop the breads together and that's it. And it tastes beautiful like that. Don't chunk it on like it's chocolate. It's not chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Vegemite, there is a knack to spreading Vegemite on your sandwich. This turned out to be a meal show now. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And so you will see, I'm going to put it down there. You will see lots of things. I know, right? I have to explain Vegemite to everybody, okay? <laughs> when I was young, big story, when I was young, I'll cut it real short. I had a friend of mine who loved um, mum toast at Vegemite and Arva. Oh, very good. Um, I have never had it. Look, Dana, a lot of people say that Vegemite is strong. It is very strong. I think the problem, they don't expect Vegemite to be salty. That's correct. Um, yeah, scrape the Vegemite. <laughs> Look, um, a lot of people expect Vegemite to be a sweet. It's not a sweet. It is a salty product and it needs to be lightly spread. That's all. So when I was young, ah, oh, Fiber, hello. Hello, good to see you. Very good to see you here. Welcome. We're, I know we're discussing Vegemite. Don't even go there. 
so <laughs> when I was younger, a friend of mine, it makes, it's making me hungry, I know, right? A friend of mine loved European food. And of course, you know, I'm Italian. And I used to bring these massive sandwiches to school with the pepperonis in there, everything was in there, right? And I was sick of it. I got sick of it because we ate it all the time. And she would bring Vegemite sandwich. And I think, geez, I could do with a Vegemite sandwich. I've never had it. So we swapped it. We weren't allowed to do that then, and you're not allowed to do that now because of allergies, right? We swapped. So when she found out that she loved my pepperoni stuff and all that European stuff, and I liked her Vegemite every day, we would do the swaps. <laughs> we planned to swap our lunch every day. We got caught and got in trouble, as you do. Um, but we planned to swap our lunch every day. We did it for months, probably almost a year even, <laughs> until we got caught. And, <laughs> and then I managed to... Um, Talk my dad into getting Vegemite in the house. So we got Vegemite and everything was great. But we got caught. So there you go. I have now have officially a cold coffee. Oh my gosh, it is cold. <laughs> now, the other thing I flashed in the uh, photo, a um, I call it that because it's, it's a kettle. <laughs> Not a kettle. <laughs> a tea. Get it right, Mary. It's not a kettle. A teapot. And yours truly has two different sizes. I sometimes think I might want to try it once. Try it once and you'll love it. No, try it, but spread it very little. All right, there you go. So these are two different size kettles. I keep calling them kettles. They're not kettles. They're teapots. Wake up, Mary. <laughs> okay, two different sizes. One's chunkier, one's longer, one's shorter, one's taller. So two different sizes. I'm not going to hold them anymore. They're quite heavy. <laughs> I don't want to break them. Um, uh, now I'm going to have to investigate Vegemite. <laughs> Look, with the Vegemite, you just need to remember not to overspread it. Spread it very lightly. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. We're going to make one. Yes, we are. <laughs> Thank you, Angela. I'm trying to bring it out. We are going to make two tea cozies. What? <laughs> the reason I'm saying two is because I have two different sizes. And I'm under the impression that if I have two different sizes, that they don't all come in one size. Who knew? I thought the tea cozy, the tea pots, came in one size. What do you do? Someone gave me the gift. I actually bought another one because it came with a sugar bowl. And I actually just wanted a sugar bowl for coffee. <laughs> Because they had a nice little spoon and it came in a pack. And the lady says, no, we sell them as a pack. Got to run. Uh, great live hugs. All right, bye. Bye, Suzanne. Talk to you soon. Um, oh, we're not leaving. We're still here. <laughs> and so um, I thought there was, so I've got this extra pot now. So we're going to make two. Why? Because we can. <laughs> okay. The other thing we're going to make is, I was talking about this guy the other day. You may not have seen, I didn't show you. It's Unwind Craft Cafe's little um, coffee thing. Yes. Yes. And um, I got this as a gift when I went on their uh, crochet, cruise, crochet cruise in January. That is the first and only cruise I've ever been on. And I have to say, I really enjoyed it. Wouldn't do it again. <laughs> Wouldn't go on a cruise again, but I did enjoy it. Um, the only reason I wouldn't go on it again, it's not my thing. It's not my thing. It was fun though. I had a lot of fun while I was on it. And they had this gorgeous bag, <laughs> little gift bag for going on the cruise. And I was very impressed with all of the items that went in. And I did flash some of them quite a few months back. But this guy came in it as well. And I was going to buy one because I don't have one, right? Um, and it's good for your coffee and your tea and whatever else, your hot chocolate. Mm, hot chocolate, I can do with some hot chocolate. I just got sidetracked again, didn't I? <laughs> um, we are going to be doing a cup cozy for this. Yay! <laughs> or for something like this, you would have maybe something like this in stock. You may have glass that you want it, that you, you know, your favourite glass, your favourite cup without the handle that is, and then we can make a cup cozy for that. And um, it's just another small project that I'm going to do to keep us busy because we don't want to do larger projects right now after doing our big blankets we are however doing this blanket <laughs> it's coming <laughs> um but in the meantime we're going to do some smaller projects like this like the teapot cozy um and 
You guys don't know this, but when I do my tutorials, you don't see what happens on the outside. And I keep a rubbish bin next to me for my threads. Otherwise, I just end up all over the floor. And check it out. Now, yours truly, when I first got it, you know, they have the little sticky label on it. If you have a careful look, you may not notice. To get it off, I used a scourer because it wouldn't come off. I know there's a proper way of doing it, but I was being lazy, yeah? <laughs> and lazy cost me my beautiful rubbish bin. <laughs> it was cute. It was gorgeous. And I damaged it with a scourer, as you do. So I'm going to be making a little cosy for that. Ungu? What does ungu mean? Oh, you'll have to explain that to me. I'm a little bit confused. Um, oh, that's the item you can use. Is that what you're saying? Uh, I know, but I put hot water and I assumed soap would work. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> well, it didn't work for mine um, and I damaged it. Uh, takes the sticky off. Oh, okay, gotcha. Orange power stick remover. Okay, well, naughty me <laughs> has already damaged it. So it's scratched. Now I've had this in my stash for nearly two years now, or a year and a half, but I only took the label off last week, assuming that I could, you know, have it nice, eucalyptus oil, I heard about that, um, um, that I could just, you know, so just in case it shows while I'm, because sometimes when I do my recordings, to, to show you a larger blanket like that, I take it off the, the camera off the stand and I video distance and all my stuff is on the sides and I thought if you see that rubbish bin it's still got the label on it's going to look bad so I took the label off assuming that it would be you know good and it wasn't so I'm going to be doing a cover for this that's going to be doing it I'm going to be doing a tutorial um yes that too Leslie yeah a lot works I was just being lazy <laughs> as you do I just wanted to get it done in a hurry and that, that'll teach me. So I'm going to be doing a cover for that. Why? Because I can. And the best part about the cover, it will be made in an, a certain way that you can actually make one for your glass or your cups. I might go to everyone getting hungry now. <laughs> That's okay. Have a good day, um, Plant Mix, and I'll see you soon. Um, how big round is the little bucket? Okay. So you don't have to worry about that because I will actually talk to you about measurements when we're doing the um, tutorial. The measurement, I'm not doing it in the round like a lot of people do. I'm going to be doing it at one piece and then we're going to be joining it. Now, that means you can actually um, finish yours when you want yours to be finished. So you measure yours around your item and when you want yours to be finished, you just join us for that final stitch together. Okay, I hope that helps. Uh, I like the granny square on Facebook. What's the best one for a king size bed? The granny square on Facebook. The granny square on Facebook. Can you talk to me later about that, Angela? Because we talk on Facebook. Um, talk to me later about it because I'm not sure which one you mean. Uh, that way it will sit right. Okay. Well, what I do, fiber, fiber is I actually talk to you about, I show you how to do the product and I say, when you get to the measurement you want, this is where you join it. I hope that makes sense. Um, and everyone's saying goodbye. <laughs> um, you're not leaving too, are you, Daniel? Uh, Ghost Hacker? Yes, thank you. Ghost Hacker, do that for me because I'm not sure which one you mean. Even if you take like a screenshot of it and, and send it to me via Messenger and then I'll have a look-see. Um, we are doing a granny square blanket but not till probably August. Not till August. It's a long way away, Angela. Um, but we'll see. You know, I've got it on the cards. I've got a whole book, a whole list, um, and Sticky Stitch gave me that idea not long ago. Write things down on a list. If you get time to do them, you do them. If you don't, you don't. And that's that's what it's all about. Uh, oh, okay. Good on you, Daniel. Glad to see you here. Um, you're still here. Glad to see you're still here. Um, yeah, so we'll be making a cover for that. I will show you what to do when you are ready to stop. So you measure yours around your product. If you're doing this, then just follow along with us because it'll pretty much the same. And I will show you measurements anyway on, on the tutorial itself. Um, but yeah, that's it. And I'm, I'm sad that I damaged it, but it gives me an opportunity to make something pretty for it. So that works well. Let's have a sip of my very cold coffee. <laughs> very, very cold coffee. Mmm. Well, it's done now, so there you go. Oh, blah, nothing like cold coffee. <laughs> Sorry, did I pull a face? 
<laughs> Sorry about that. Now, what are some of the yarns that you can use for your smaller projects? To me, a lot of people use wool for the tea cozies, and that's great. Uh, as you know, I don't like wool very much. I don't like it because I don't like it. I don't like it because I can't wear it, and you know that. So I'm going to be doing a lot of different leftover colours. See the leftover colours that I have? I have lots of them. If I'm not happy with the way they look, I have some good colours. These are all cotton, all Bendigo Woolen Mills 8-ply cotton. You don't have to use that one. Just use um, a solid cotton if you want. Use a, uh, a strong cotton, nothing flimsy. Um, nice, solid, strong cotton and more cotton. So I'll show you a label so you can see. Ooh, I, could, I don't drop it. These are some of the Bendigo labels, okay? And the actual skein comes in a 200 gram skein. Um, yep, comes in. A, I'm getting other messages on my phone. That, you know what? People know that I'm live. <laughs> my family and friends know that I'm live and they still message me on my phone <laughs> while I'm live. Stop doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, control yourself. Um, and these actually, I've noticed the older labels have never had meters on them, but all the new labels have meters. And their meters on certain skeins are different, right? And on the 8 ply cotton peppermint crush, you've got 485 meters on that. I don't know what the yardage is. You can use Uncle Google. Yeah, Uncle Google will help us out with the yardage on that. Notice how he's the uncle now. Sometimes he's our, our brother Google, and sometimes he's our sister Google. She is our sister Google. I'll beat him up later, will I? <laughs> Can I do that? Is it legal? No. I'm a good girl. Sometimes. Maybe. <laughs> All right, maybe not today. <laughs> so, guys, we are making tea cozies. We are making uh, one of these covers. Uh, where do you get the lovely live... One, your sister, good uh, sewing machine. I'm not sure what you mean there, Angel. You have to elaborate. Use your crochet hook. <laughs> Use the crochet hook. <laughs> I'm too afraid it'll get stuck. I don't want to damage my crochet hook. <gasps> I'm so naughty. <laughs> I use my good crochet hooks, no way. <laughs> Oh, the wool. The wool is cotton. It's actually cotton. You can use wool. I know a lot of people do um, tea cozies with wool because it keeps your tea warm. But because I'm a cotton girl, I'm going to use cotton. In the tutorial, I'll tell you, you can use wool. Just remember, if you're using a thicker, don't break the hook. I'm not going to break my hook. No way. <laughs> I'm not ruining my hook. I don't care what people do. They're angry. See ya. I just shut the door. <laughs> Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> I just got sidetracked again. So I'll be using cotton. Um, with these ones here, this is basic. You can end exactly where I where I say, okay, this is the measurement you'll need. If you've got this measurement, end now. If you have your own item, just measure it up. In UK, call the on wool sometimes. Okay, I gotcha. Okay. Um, vacuum. Oh, I missed it. I've missed that. What's that say? I can hear it now. I will break. <laughs> <Hook off. laughs> Nobody touches my hooks. And you know, it's funny, even my family here, my children, if they see a hook, they don't go near it. <laughs> they think they'll get their hands bitten off if they go near my hooks. <laughs> and you know what else they do? I have, my daughter once said to me, Mum, when we see one of your blankets blocking, we're too scared to go near it. Because they're scared they'll drop something on it, they'll spill something, they'll damage it, and then I will just ah, blow up <laughs> like a balloon. I mean, angry blow up. Not... <laughs> so let's get back. You guys, you get me so sidetracked. I'm not beating up on anyone, and no one's getting a hook anywhere on their person. <laughs> we are definitely, definitely going to start this guy this week what i said no big projects <laughs> but it's only the start 
can't help myself. But it's only the start. You're going to go away and do, you're not going to go away. You're going to hit off on your own. I keep saying it. Um, you've trained them well, I know, right? <laughs> uh, well, your kids are good, then I swim on. Go to them. Oh, but my kids are grown ups. I like to think they are anyway. <laughs> I like to think they're grown ups. <laughs> um, and my kids are over 21, so they, they are very good at not touching anything. Um, Frances, my daughter, she actually does crochet as well. She hasn't done a lot lately, but she works. She's got a life and she's very busy. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm about to explain this to you in a minute, Fiverr. Um, but she does that a lot as well. So she understands and she appreciates the amount of hours that go into our craft. We don't get paid for that. Like someone was talking about it on Facebook the other day. How much do you charge for your work? And someone said, oh, three times the cost of the yarn. So let's say Bendigo Woolen Mills, let's say this cost $15, right? And I used 10 of them, right? Just say for argument's sake, I wouldn't use 10 of them. It's a lot. <laughs> I could on larger blankets. And that's what? $150, right? Someone wants to pay me $80 for a $150 blanket. That's just the yarn. <laughs> So I'm telling you, we are not appreciated. And then you tell them the price, they think, well, I'm not paying that much. Then you say, well, hang on a minute. The yarn cost me $150. You've forgotten the amount of hours that I put into the work as well. And, and people don't get it. Anyway, scratch that. And that's a cheaper yarn too. Bendigo Woolen Mills is, I reckon it's actually a good buy when it comes to their yarn. They've got a good price and they've got a lot in the one scheme. So it's a good buy. Um, there are some yarns that, what's, 50 gram skein of yarn here. This is one fancy yarn. It is fancy yarn, right? It cost me $28 once. Uh, I know, right? Yeah, $28. It's a very fancy yarn, right? And I've got a 50 grams. So I don't know what I'm going to use with it because there's not much you can make with 50 grams. You can make a, a baby beanie, you know, $28 for the skein alone. <laughs> what? So there are yarns that can break the bank and then there are the cheaper yarns and then there are the even cheaper yarns that are scratchy and uh, you don't want to use them yeah let's get back to business I don't know how I got distracted um <laughs> we are going to start our corner to corner granny to granny stitch corner to corner not your basic corner to corner it's your basic granny stitch and in actual fact I find this granny stitch one a lot easier then your normal corner to corner. That's why I stopped my little handmade business. People want handmade but don't want to pay for the price. I know. And funnily enough, I am addicted to it. So stopping it is going to be really difficult. Um, the only way I would stop is if I damage my hands. And in actual fact, if I trip or I'm going to fall or something's going to happen, I move my hands away and let everything else break. <laughs> I will break a leg, break a hip, but I will not damage these hands. They go up in the air, everything else. And if something's flying at me, I just let it come at me because I'm not putting my hands up. I don't want to damage the hands. <laughs> Can we get back to business? Okay, we are going to make this blanket. We're going to start this blanket. Now, as you can see, I have used a whole lot of leftover yarn that I had in my stash now I don't think these colors match I really don't uh, I just used whatever I had left over in um, some jobs that I had doing that I was doing last year I was going to go out and buy more cotton and it was silly because I actually did go out and get more cotton anyway so I should have just waited and used it for granny squares and things but anyway you do what you do <clears throat> and so there you go that is what we're making. Break a leg, more stitch time. I know, right? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Thank you, Fiber. I needed that. <laughs> I needed a square corner. I knitted square corner to corner. Ooh, knitted. Ooh, knitted is a swear word here. No, it's not. <laughs> I do knit. I just don't do it. Uh, I think it looks beautiful. Thank you, Kaz. Um, it is, and it's cotton. It's cotton. It's not a wool. It's cotton. Okay, so you can do this in anything you like. Cotton, acrylic, wool, whatever you want. Whatever you've got in your stash, leftover yarns. We are going to make one. Great, another baby blanket, I know, right? <laughs> no, but look, this one here, we're not in a hurry to complete because 
Um, we've got little ones, some little items that we're going to be making. I'm very, I'm excited to make a cotton blanket. Well, I always make mine for me in cotton. For everybody else, if they want wool, I will make them in wool and I'll make them in acrylic. But for me, I make mine in a cotton or I used to use the Stella range at Bendigo Woolen Mills, but uh, rumour has it they're uh, facing that stay, that range out. I could be wrong. If anybody knows Bendigo, let me know. But I'm pretty sure I heard that they're phasing it out. So there you go. That's probably because they're probably bringing out something new. What do you reckon? Oh, maybe. <laughs> but in the meantime, pull out whatever you've got in your stash. Little bibs and bobs like that. Little bits. Notice how I've got little papers on them. Tells me exactly. They're just left over pieces of paper that I've gotten rubbish. You know, if you get like um, a letter, I use the back of those and pop them in there. Uh, cotton is great idea for children uh for kids yeah i know um people say it is better to make for cotton um no i need a baby blanket my granddaughter niece is due in six weeks oh Natalie, great you're gonna love this one if you make it in cotton she's it's likely she won't have allergies but if you make it in cotton it's safe for children with allergies okay unless they're allergic to cotton <laughs> but 99.9% .9 chance they be more allergic to wool than they will cotton. So if you make it in cotton, um, mum would be very grateful to you or dad or whoever's caring for the infant at the time. And um, yeah, and cotton, it wears better. Got plenty, got some boxes coming, but wool, that's all right. Uh, oops, okay, let's have a look. I have a few balls of Bendigo Woolen Mills cotton just waiting for this project. You will love it. I'm not going to be using um, my stash. I'm going to be using good solid skeins of cotton for it. Um, I want to, because I've already got myself a, you know, like a stash busting one, I'm going to use normal colours. So I'm going to have like 10 rows of that, 5 rows of that, 10 rows of that kind of thing. So I have to design it yet. I haven't designed it, but that's an easy design. It's just a matter of... Um, getting your calculations right. And of course, you know, me and Maths, we just, we're not best friends. No. I like to say Maths and I are like World War Three. Uh, not another hours, even in a lockdown. Not another hours, even in a lockdown. I'm not sure what you mean there. But yeah. Hours? Anyway. Ta-da! We are doing that. We're starting this week. I will have, um, we're going to be doing this exact size. Now, I'll mention to you, if you want to do it large, I might even do this larger, to be honest with you. Oh, if I do it larger, I have to redesign. <laughs> oh, my God. The things I put myself under, the, the pressure I put myself under is just, you know. <laughs> so we will be doing that blanket. We're starting it. We're not doing it. It's not going to, um, it's not going to finish. Um, this week, but no way. And the same with our star blanket. You know, we're in the middle of that too. So we're doing two blankets at the moment. And this week we're starting on little things, small things that will not take you a long time to do. Um, and next week, will it be another square or a rectangle? Or can we decide? You can decide on your own. And I'll explain that to you in the tutorial. I will show you two options. I will have the square, which is that one there. And the reason I say the second option is because I want to make mine. Um, I'd like to make mine. I haven't designed it yet. I'd like to make mine as a rectangle for the simple fact that um, if you make it big enough, that rectangle can go around the pram or the stroller. I don't know what they call them overseas. We call them prams. A newborn baby fits into a, a pram. When you're going for a walk. Mums these days, they like to use the pram. Um, looking at Benito Wall Mills website, what ply will I need? Um, I use eight ply Kiki for blankets. Um, sorry, have to go. Who's going? Oh, that's all right, Kerry. Have a good day. Have a good day, Kerry. Um, yeah, Kiki, I use eight ply. Four ply is good for newborns. I forgot to say I finished my furry tissue box cover. Oh, did you? I have to see it. Don't forget to send me a photo. <laughs> oh, you did show me something. Um, Kerry, be safe and well. Yes. Um, oh, everyone's saying goodbye to Kerry. Oh, look at that. Love your tutorial too. Oh, thanks, Kerry. 
<laughs> um, so thank you for those of you who are leaving at the moment. Thank you for joining us. For the rest of us, uh, in reference to the blanket, I will show you different sticky stitch. What yarn did you use? Oh, yeah, sticky stitch uses gorgeous yarn. I never did ask her about the yarn, actually. It'd be good to hear from sticky stitch. If you could let us know what yarn you use, that would be great. The actual label, if you've got a label available, if you can just write that name down for us. Um, so I will show you different sizes. There will be a square blanket or a rectangle size. And I will have my artistic drawing, <laughs> as you know, is not that good. I will have the artistic drawing for you so you know exactly when to stop and when to start into the next colours. If you're using the same colours that we're using, if not, um, just, you know, play with colour and have some fun with it. There's no right or wrong way to do a blanket like this. It is the basic stitching. is It's just so basic. It's great for newbies. But it also is, it's, um, what do you call it? Um, it's pretty. Like, it's basic for newbies, but it's also pretty. You can't go wrong with a basic blanket. Uh, a lot of people tend to use plain colours for newborn babies. Uh, just heads up, just check with mum and dad and you know whoever the carers are going to be what colors that they like too uh, because you know parents have to be happy with it my sister said that in one of my videos last week she said sometimes you need to check with the parents because they have to be happy too you know um, some parents will think oh i'm never going to put purple near my child or i'm never going to put a green near my child there's no way red is going near my child so you need to check with them uh, what colors they like even though you know or you may know their colours, just check with them because they might want a different colour for baby. They might want one to uh, go with their decor, the colour of the decor in the room, baby's room. Uh, so just check with parents before you make anything. It's called Mondial Coca-Cola in with, oh, in the white. It looks so cool. I know. I know, I know. Do you think, Sticky Stitch, if you get an opportunity, I don't know if you're on Facebook, I don't think you are, um, could you pop a picture on my wow page if you can? If not, don't stress. Um, but it'd be interesting to see um, and to show my uh, subscribers what that tissue box would look like because it's totally same kind of thing, but it's totally different style. Uh, I had a lady want a red and black Tunisian onto like baby blanket. Oh, wow, red and black. But then, you know, that could be a football team too. It's one of our football teams here. I think it's Essendon or something. I don't know. I don't follow football, but it's, you know. What? I live in Australia and I don't follow Aussie rules. What? <laughs> you know what I say about football. The grand final is the best day of the year because the shops are quieter and I can go shopping. <laughs> I really don't care for it. It's not I don't care for it. It's a long time in the day. I remember going to the football once and I did take my crochet with me too, by the way. I was freezing. It was cold. I was sitting on a cold bench, started to drizzle. I had my crochet. I had to pop it under my jacket. When it stopped drizzling, pull it out, start again. It was grumpy. Um, I took a paper and a pen with me once and wrote three poems while I was at football. It wasn't about football <laughs> at all. So I really, it does nothing for me. And I know a lot of people get excited. They love their footy. <sighs> well, you know, we can't all love the same thing, right? That's what I say to a lot of people. They say, oh, don't you care that she likes that? Say, well, she doesn't care I like crochet. <laughs> Not everybody has to like what you like. <laughs> so there you go. So I don't go to the uh, games. But yes, Essendon colours, I think, are black and red. I know that much because uh, I have a family member who like them. Uh, Collingwood, uh, family members who like Collingwood, they're black and white. Um, what else? I love watching your Prime Minister comes out. Yeah, I am up for it. I'm not sure what that means, but anyway, yep. <laughs> um, so there you go. This is what we're doing this week, and in two weeks' time we are going to do um, headband with a um, little tie-up thing. So it's not your normal headbands. So you can make them as big or as small as you like. It'll have a little tie-up flap that you can have dangling down on your hair as well. Uh, what else are we making? I did promise you um, fingerless gloves. They're coming. But they're all coming slowly. So bear with me. You know, the next three weeks are going to be very busy for me. I have certain days that I won't be in the home. 
Uh, so I will be bringing out a lot of smaller projects to help push them along and keep you guys busy while I'm out and about doing some stuff. Stuff. Stuff that you have to do that you don't want to do. <laughs> hey, beggars can't be choosers, right? We have to do what we have to do. Uh, you're still doing Dreamcatcher. I am, but I'm waiting for... I forgot all about that. Thank you for bringing that up, Ghost Hacker, Angela. I'm waiting. Um, I was waiting for everybody to come out of being locked down. So they can go out and buy the little things for them, you know, like feathers or well, we can make some stuff. We can make feathers. Actually, I've seen some feathers being made. They're really quite nice. <laughs> um, and little things that you can add to them as well because it's not enough. That you just add something round to, um, hello, Musica. Hello, welcome. Musica is a lovely person who actually is on my um, Instagram as well. So lovely to see you here, Musica. Um, so the dream catches around. And you, it's not enough that you crochet to it. You want to add some pretty little items to it as well. So you need to get some feathers or, um, oh, I don't know, any dingly dangly things that hang off there. We can crochet. I've got something I want to crochet that we can hang off there. You're going to love it. It looks like my hair. <laughs> it kind of looks like hair. <laughs> it's a little curly hair. And you dang, they dangle off your um uh, dream catcher you're welcome it's good to see you here musica um so yeah there's, there's a lot of things that you can do with dream catchers now we are doing that hopefully beads yes we're going to add some but we're going to add stuff we're just going to add stuff it's going to look gorgeous i don't know i say that in um a lot of my videos i do i say gorgeous and i can't help myself because it's crochet everything in crochet related to me is gorgeous even those items that don't come out the way you plan they're still gorgeous in their own right <laughs> especially if you think what did i do <laughs> is next weekend that we are making is next weekend that we are making coasters um we have made coasters in the past haven't we yes i did a um Oh, what did I do? Focus, focus. I did do one. Uh, St. Patrick's Day coaster. I couldn't get it out then. St. Patrick's Day coaster. We made one of those. We um, are going to be making a set of coasters. Daniel, yes, we are. You've reminded me. I forgot all about the coasters. I might be able to ram them in. They're not that hard. And they're not that, they, they don't take long to make. They're really quite basic. I will keep them as basic as possible with, a, you know, a slight intricate stitch in there as well. You want Christmas ones? You want Christmas coasters? A bit early. It's a bit early for Christmas coasters. They don't take long to make. I was hoping to wait closer to Christmas before making the coasters for Christmas. But normal coasters we can make. Daniel, we could do some of those this week, if you like, um, or next week. Uh, you'd better write this all down. I don't need to, dear. It's all in here now. Nice. Need some. Oh, you need some coasters. All right, look, coasters, by the way, if you're going to make coasters... Start making that list, Mary. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? If you want to make coasters, coasters that you make are really good with thicker cotton um, or even thinner cotton. I use the very, very thin cotton for my coasters. When doing a tutorial, I may use the eight-ply cotton. I don't know, Daniel, what ply you're using at the moment. Um, you can use 10, 8 or 4. Now, the four-ply uh, cotton is quite thin. Um, but for me, I prefer the four-ply Right in your list. I know Sticky Stitch, you did talk to me about that, didn't you? Uh, I got my kids asking for food, so I'll catch up with everyone next time. Everyone is... Oh, Allegra, we won't be on for too long soon anyway. Uh, see you, Allegra. Have a good day. Um, oh, or night, depending on where you are. Um, so there. Uh, yeah, I use eight ply cotton for um, the coasters anyway. So that, that would be great because we could all be on the same length there. I do tend to use a four ply, but when doing the tutorials, I will use an eight ply so that you can see the stitch because some of the four ply uh, yarn is quite thin. However, um, in reference to the thin yarn, if you remember this guy, it's very thin. And I came up with some stitches. Oh, I don't know what I did. I popped it down. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I've lost it. I wish I could get my Grinch pattern done by July. <laughs> don't talk to me about a Grinch pattern. I won't be making any. <laughs> I don't go there. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay. Here it is. Oh, I know why I put it here. 
I wanted to show you just quickly. This is all the yarn. You on Facebook? Do you need something like that? This is all the yarn left over from our blanket. I'm going to add it all up and see our um, hexagon blanket at the back there and see how much we have left. And over the next few weeks, I will talk about doing um, some projects that you can, like a matching item that you can do with that item there. And I've just tangled, can you believe this? Look, five seconds with a cotton and I've tangled myself up. Five seconds, I put this piece right here. I'll myself. Anyway, let's get back to business. Now, the green cotton, right? Everyone's talking to everybody here. The green one, remember this? I came up, I'm using the purple one, the pink one. I came up with some stitches for our cowl that we're making, our summer cowl. Now, this is all different stitches. I know that looks the same, but it's not. So there's those stitches, there's that. There's this one here with the gaps. Now, <clears throat> now, I like that there, the cluster stitches. I like that. So this is a thin cotton. Um, so when we do our cowl, we will be using this. <laughs> I'll be using this or this one. <laughs> Depends which one I get finished first. I'll be using it um, and I'll be doing that stitch there, the cluster stitch, the larger one. Okay. So I know I got tangled up. How did you do? Um, and so that is what it's coming up. I just wanted to remind you that I haven't forgotten about the cowl but I just wanted to play with some stitches and I wasn't happy now this yarn speaking of what Daniel said before um this is a thin yarn very thin cotton so this is the sort of stuff I don't like to use on YouTube however because we are making our cowl I will be using either this one or the pink one I uh, would have to do them won't in peace yeah I know you need you need to be nice and quiet when doing this one having said that I'll try and keep that stitch as basic as possible because it's only that one that we're doing. We're not doing the rest that you see. What I do when I'm designing, it's really bad. I shouldn't do it. I start a pattern and I think I don't like it. So instead of taking it all undone, I just continue with another pattern. <laughs> I'm really bad that way. And then I say, no, I don't like it. I continue with another one. And the last one I got was that cluster set. And then I did something else on top. And I thought, no, I think we'll stick to the cluster set as the pattern. And just make it the same. I have uploaded onto the Well Crochet page. Oh, thank you, Sticky Stitch. She, Sticky Stitch has uploaded the picture of her tissue box cover that she made gorgeously on our crochet page. If you want to check that out in the community section of Well Crochet's page on Facebook, I'm assuming, Sticky Stitch. Yes. Um, I'm assuming you meant Facebook. Yes. So have a look, see, if you want to check out her, her tissue box cover which is gorgeous. I have seen a photo of that. Um, yeah, we're, we're not going to stay too long now, Kaz. It's getting a bit long. Um, so check out Sticky Stitches picture and, and see there are different ways that you can make your tissue box covers that we've done in the past. The one Sticky Stitch is talking about is, it could be either this one or this one. I can't remember which one she was talking about. But we've made them both. Now she's done hers in um, this gorgeous yarn. Check it out. You must check it out because I, I've seen part of the picture. She showed me part of it and I loved it. So go and check it out. And Sticky Stitch is one of my favourite people to hang out with. Because I, you know why I like Sticky Stitch? Uh, you didn't see me nod. <laughs> I didn't see a nod. You know why I like Sticky Stitch? Because there are two reasons. One, um, she's a fantastic knitter, which is something I don't do much of. And the other one is that she's honest with me. So when she says to me, look, Mary, don't do that because that's not going to work or you should write this down on a notepad next to you <laughs> or she's just so honest and sometimes that oh, honesty can hurt, right? <laughs> but Sticky Stitch, you know, she's she's honest and the, her opinion matters in this field because she's good at what she does. And so, and the same with anybody else. If you have an opinion, force your opinion on me. I don't mind. I love a good opinion. Um, heads up, though. Don't be mean. Because <laughs> I'll cry. I'll sit in the corner over there and I'll cry like a baby. Um, no, I won't. But uh, that's why I like Sticky Stitch. She is a fantastic knitter. She knits socks. 
Um, and I think Daniel last week asked me, are we ever going to crochet socks? We might in the future. Not right now. I've got lists happening. And those lists are happening because our friend Sticky Stitch, <laughs> my friend Sticky Stitch, suggested that not long ago. It was about a week, not even a week, half a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> and there is a notepad over there. You know how you said write everything down? I will be writing it all down after the um, live this morning. So there you go. Wow. I do try my to be nice. Now, you're always nice, Sticky Stitch. That's why. But you're honest. And that's what I love. If I hear uh, an opinion come across and it's honest, then I get it. Um, all good, Daniel. Um, then I get it. I'm happy to take in as much advice as I can get as well because sometimes you know we are so set in our ways that we don't see like when you someone else looking from the outside in can see when you need a bit of help with something or can see things that you might be able to add to your work I can't find a sticky uh or a c is a gorgeous post what what you look for um you've got to go to the community page was that Jeannie was it Jeannie you've got to go to my community section on the page if you look carefully on the page, it's like a, a part that says community. If you go across on Facebook, it says community. If you click on that community section, all the community posts will come up. If you um, Are you on Wow Crochet's page on Facebook, Jeannie? Yes? Oh, see, uh, yeah, you have to go to the community section. Oh, well, Kiki's obviously able to see it because Kiki said she loves it. There is a community section, Jeannie. Have another look-see. If you can't find it, um, private message me on the page and I'll try and help you, okay? Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> um, I have to uh, look a bit. I might post up some small items. Go for it, Daniel. That's, that's what the page is there for. Uh, click on posts, then visitor posts. Yes, visit a post. Good girl. Thank you. Um, yeah, so click on visit a post. Got it? I hope you've got it. <laughs> All good. If, guys, if you have pictures you want to post, I say this often, head over to my Facebook page, go into the community section or the visitor section or whatever it's called, post them up. I love to see your pictures, even if they're not stuff that we've made and you just want to show me stuff. I know a lot of people do that already. Suzanne does that a lot. Um, Suzanne from God Crochet and I can't remember the name of it. I'm in love or something. I always forget her name. But I know her name is Suzanne. But she posts a lot on my page. So check that out. Don't be shy, guys. If you want to post something, just as long as yeah, not big old blankets or doing long projects. No, no, small ones. Are, I, no, small ones are fine, Daniel. That's fine. Yeah, we, we, we are doing small projects anyway in the near future. Um, I do have a list and that list was um, encouraged by our lovely Sticky Stitch. And so, yeah. So as I was saying, guys, someone who is looking from the outside in can see things that you don't see. If they give you advice, take it. Take whatever you can. Take it all. Just don't. Make me cry. <laughs> I cry at least once on these lives, don't I? Not real cry. It's just fake. Fake, fake, fake. <laughs> Guys, I've been talking for an hour and 20 minutes, or an hour and 23 to be exact, because I can see the time flashing up on my <laughs> video up there. It's a long time to be talking, but I thank you so much for joining me, guys. Don't forget this week, I say this week, we are going to hit that 6,000 subscriber mark because we are so close. And... So keep your eyes peeled for our giveaway vlog. The first one I'll talk about is just the actual prizes that are coming up. So that won't be where the question is. Then I'll give you a date for the vlog that will have the question. And then you have to visit that vlog and you have to answer the question. And you have to um, leave your, don't, don't leave any personal details. Don't do that. <laughs> because there's no point doing that unless you win. When you win... Oh, you either contact me via Messenger or contact me via Instagram and we'll talk about it there, all right? So enjoy your walk, by the way, Daniel. <laughs> he really does do his walks. He's a good boy. <laughs> uh, Mary, is your Facebook in the wild crochet? Wild? Wow crochet. Or is it under a private? No, it's called wow, W-O-W, -W, exclamation mark, 
crochet. Oh, you might not see the exclamation mark, but it's wow crochet. Exactly the way you see it here on YouTube is the same way you'll see it on Facebook. Okay. And it is a public page, so you'll be able to see it properly. Okay. So thank you so much for joining me, guys. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your shares to, to those of you who have shared um, well crochet or your own. It is definitely well crochet. Um, constructive criticism is always good as long as they aren't being me. No, people are pretty good, actually. I, Leslie, it's wow crochet. Yeah, definitely wow crochet. All right. Thank you for joining me. Keep your eyes peeled for the giveaway details. They are coming up this week. I don't know when, but they are definitely coming up. I should have all the yarn ready for you. Some of the knickknacks um, and some, I, I'm flashing this hook, but you're not getting this hook, sorry. <laughs> this is my favourite hook. It's my favourite. The 4 and the 4.5 in the Clover Soft Touch are my favourite hooks to use. Just thought I'd pop that in. Um, thank you for joining me. And don't forget... The tutorials are still coming. Uh, I'm doing some smaller tutorials this week, so you will enjoy that, along with the start of this blanket. I uploaded the bubble stitch blanket, and you helped me with... Didn't know you had a Facebook page too. Yeah, I advertise that all the time, but I haven't done that for a while. I do apologise, but I do have a Facebook page. Leave your photos there. Enjoy your day, guys. I have to go and get some work done. <laughs> I have to clean house now. <laughs> dirty job someone's got to do it um thank you for joining me and as i say after every one of my tutorials and my lives ciao for now have a good day bye or night or morning bye that's not going anywhere ciao